In this video, we are going to learn about compound interest. So this problem says Gabriella deposits $650 into an account that earns 4.2% interest compounded quarterly. How much does she have after 12 years? So our general formula is going to be A, which is the amount after a certain amount of years, equals P, which is our principal amount, what we start with, and then times 1 plus the rate, which has to be written as a decimal, divided by N, which is the number of times it's compounded each year. And then we've got N raised to the N times T. So N, again, is how many times it's compounded per year, and T is the time. So to write out what these mean, so we've got A is our total amount, and that's after it's compounded. P is your starting amount, your principal. And then R is going to be your rate. And this has to be written as a decimal. So for example, this one is 4.2%. So we would write it as 0 0.042. And then N is going to be the number of times that it's compounded. And then T deals with your time in years. So the number of times it's compounded, so if it's quarterly, that means four times a year. So quarterly will equal four. If it's monthly, it is 12. If it's annually, that means it's only one time, it's one, and so on. So if we fill out what we know, we're looking for our total amount. So I'm going to write A equals our principal amount. So we have 650, and then we've got one plus your rate, which is 0 0.042 divided by N, so it's compounded, it says quarterly, that means N is equal to four, and then it's raised to the N times T, so we've got four times 12, because it says 12 years. And again, the four came from N, and N is the number of times it's compounded per year. So now we need to simplify from here. So we will start inside the parentheses. So we're going to be doing 0 0.042 divided by four, which gives us 0 0.0105. And then add the one. So we've got 1.0105 raised to the four times 12. So that's 48. And then we have 650 in front. So now we need to do order of operations. So order of operations means we need to take the 1.0105 and then we need to raise this to the 48th power. So we will be getting 650 times 1.65098542. You can leave that number in your calculator. Do not round that right now. We can't round until the very end. So you will take that answer and then you're gonna multiply that. So use your calculator, multiply it by 650 and you will end up with 1,073 dollars and 14 cents. So we really will see in our calculator 1073.14 zero five seven so you're always going to round to the nearest cent so that's two numbers past the decimal unless it tells you otherwise so always assume that we're rounding to the nearest cent